Hello, hello, welcome. Golden Empress Collection here, and I just had to come and do a Sagittarius reading because I love my Saggies. I love you guys. I know you love me, so make sure you smash that like button. Sagittarius, let's take a look and see what's out there in the collective for you. Lots of really weird energy. I wanted to let you guys know, though, for those of you that have plans and want certain things done in life, there is going to be a astrological event that happens towards the end of the month that you really might find exciting okay all of the planetary um there's going to be a huge planetary alignment so you might want to take a peek at that all right see how it's going to vibrate for you let's see what else see what i'm saying it's a path Sagittarius into something correct is what i just heard into something that is going to bring you an abundant of blessings. I feel like I'm not speaking correctly because there's a whole bunch of you that I need to talk to. Um, I hope that this message comes across clearly because whatever this is getting ready to tell us, whatever is getting ready to come out is an opportunity. Okay, Sagittarius, that's just what I feel. And it's, they're giving you this option. It's like a gift. They're giving you this ability to you know, free yourself from a situation, you know, change the direction of a certain direction that you have possibly been going in. You have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of this deck, but I'm feeling more of a vibration of this is the old, all right? This is whatever it was that happened in the past, whether it's an abusive energy, whether it's somebody stole from you, they took from you, they didn't respect you, you know, they deliberately tried to entrap you. Um, some of you guys, I am feeling more of a domestic type of energy. I'm also feeling betrayal. You know, it was the worst of the worst. It was just damn near bad luck that you came across whatever this was. All right. And it was a reason. It all happened for a reason with the sun and Gemini. So the deck that I'm seeing, where did you go, baby? There you are. Okay. The deck I'm seeing is this one. Yay. Yeah, Eight of Cups. It's time for some sort of change. It's going to be time for transition. You are no longer bound to something. And it was with this right here that says to me, it was meant for this to happen. I know I said that already, but I have to express it. They're saying also something about the number here. Is the number 160 and then you also have 200. So this is 180. So it's in increments of 20. Some of you guys, I'm hearing 20 paces, you know, maybe that's a past life thing, especially if they're, yeah, see, look, it's upside down. Now, if this is a past life energy, this is something where someone was harmed in a past life. Okay. <clears throat> Sagittarius, what is happening with this opportunity? As long as you are letting go of the past, right? You've done the work. With the three of pentacles there's other people that are definitely involved this is all about creative processes though with this capricorn energy um i think that you choosing you choosing not to allow certain structures to harm you to hurt you um betray you in any way shape or form is a major part of life you successfully got through some sort of cycle. This could be even an initiation in some way. This could be, um, and I'm thinking to myself, this is an energy of where you wanted to move forward in something, becoming an expert in something and being very, very successful at it to where now you are able to train and you are able to do some sort of function um, in life. Like this is a total communication energy right? How are you communicating? What is the thought process here? What are you interested in? Some of you guys, you could be going into communications. You've been, you could have been held back a long time. There could have been some sort of blacklist, some sort of blackball here. That is no longer happening. I feel like that is now done. Some of you guys, if it's a mental energy, don't get hung up. Okay. Don't betray yourself. Allow your victory and your success to come through. Now here's the deal. If we're talking about love, Sagittarius, yeah, someone is getting on your everlasting nerve. You were in a relationship where someone betrayed you, all right? And it was with a third party, and it's because of their damn ego. And if they want to juggle, let them juggle, all right? 
I have no tolerance or sympathy for individuals that choose to betray, right? And then act like everything's all peachy. I don't like that, you know, and you as many of you are empaths. That is a new human gift. You know, the five senses. Some of you guys have six sense. You sense when someone is not being honest with you. And so spirit is providing you with a new opportunity to work something out in your favor. And kudos to you because you deserve it, especially if you're married to this person. You did not deserve to be betrayed, but it's still going on, whatever this is. Okay. Um, you have a lot of Capricorn energy here. And so some of you guys might be doing some sort of very frustrated type of dance. You might let whatever this is affect you, um, to the point where you're saying, you know, what is it that's providing me with security? See judgment in the reverse. And that's insane that this is in reverse in this deck. Oh, there's a lot of cards in the reverse. I feel like spirit wants us to take the cards that way. And you guys know, I normally don't do that. So for judgment in reverse to come out with your reading, Sagittarius, that does not bode well in favor of anyone it is that you are trying to deal with, okay? They need you to pay attention to the cycles that you're on with this compass energy. They are trying to direct you into something positive and fruitful, all right? Here's the other thing. You have quite a bit of negative Capricorn energy here. I just see it vibrating with the six. Someone is con trying to control someone in love here. I don't know. Yeah. Someone that's in regret over something that was done. And so maybe you did choose to end something or maybe someone wants to end something. Listen, why do they want to end it? Five of cups. Four of wands. This is, to me, I hear alliance with whatever this four of wands is, Sagittarius. They regret choosing some sort of an alliance because now they feel like they have to be on the defense. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck again. So you are really trying to figure out where you fit in, all right? Th there could be someone here that has really bad habits as well. There might be someone who's doing too much, all right? And if you're doing too much, you might drop the ball somewhere or you're this is what your person is doing or this is how the relationship breaks down. Someone's got way too much going on to where they can't give to the relationship properly. And then, I don't know, things that feel like they're supposed to come out right end up making you feel like you're on the defense, you know? And I really feel like some of you guys with this key energy, you're looking for a way to handle a third party vibration. You know, I think you're really also trying to teach yourself here about new paths, you know, about letting go of those things that wounded you. A lot of you guys, this could be the, the, the foundation of like verbiage is what I'm hearing. The word verbiage, um, it's the way that people spoke to you possibly maybe put you down in some sort of way. And you kind of like replay that over and over in your mind. When, uh, when in all reality, spirit is saying these things only happen to you so you could protect yourself. Spirit was actually trying to guide you. You know, both people in this situation, both people in this mix, the relationship, the situationship, the job, whatever this is for you. Okay. The late, I just heard some of you all, it's the lady at the gas station, whether or not you get into some sort of conflict, please do not feel sorry for people that don't feel sorry for themselves. Okay. They let their situation be like that is what I just heard for some of you. It's very important. Then you have to understand they let their situation be like that. If that makes sense, because everybody has the opportunity to change something. Now, Sagittarius, I feel like you are truly successful at changing whatever this is but you've got people jealous of you. So don't allow your key, don't allow your opportunity or your self-worth to be questioned because people are trying to betray you. That's another thing here. Do not doubt yourself. You don't have to. That five of cups is other people. It's jealousy. I, here's another thing. I think for the most part, you guys have the opportunity to do things in a way that brings you abundance as long as you choose to stand up for yourself and accept this peaceful offering, right? Allowing stressful events and betrayal to come in here and just, you know, mess with your mind. I don't think that spirit wants that for you. Okay. The past is over with. You get a new opportunity. You're getting ready to celebrate. 
But if you hold on to something that's in the past, you won't be able to celebrate. See, here you are, Sagittarius. I told you. They said move into protection mode here. Okay. They don't want you blocked by other people and the things that they're offering. So some of you, again, I'm just going to reiterate, you are the empath. And if they feel yicky, you could possibly feel yicky too. And you don't recognize that you feel yicky. You don't recognize it. And I'm saying yicky. You see what I'm saying? It's because you're dealing with other people here. You also have many opportunities. Don't hold on to this past. You, you have more than one blessing coming too. And you're going to have to take action to protect them. Um, and I feel like the, the person... Your bond, your beautiful things, your peace, your abundance, your harmony, when that comes in, it's going to be a cycle that says, oh, well, let me help you. Some of you guys, this is even somebody saying, I'm sorry for the way, it, kind of, they regret the way the relationship went, so they want to offer you something different. But if you know that they tried, let me see, if you know that if they tried to do you wrong in the past, do you dirty, some of you guys, I see somebody offering a key to a house here. Like, here's a key to my house. Please know that I only want to work it out with you is what I'm hearing, Sagittarius. Look at this. What is that? Yeah, you, you have a message coming in. I've, I was wondering if it was honest and truthful. I think it is. I feel like this person has grown up a little bit. I don't know where this person just came from, but it's very, very distinct. It's very heavy. It's, it's an energy of they want to do right. Some of you guys, this is definitely a marriage offer here. I also see that you have a conversation going on around you. I think that hits you somehow. It hits you. I don't think that you need to, mm, don't get upset about that. That's what I'm hearing. Some, it could be someone that's immature that says something. A lot of Gemini energy right here, Sagittarius. And they're doing it to get a rise out of somebody for something. Yeah, that's toxic. I, that's all I can say about that, whatever that is. And if they, you feel like someone is pushing your buttons on purpose, yeah. And you might even say to them to like basically mind their own business, don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I, I think someone, yeah, I was going to say someone is lying. And then the seven of swords came out right here because all I saw was this and then this seven was right behind it. But look at that combination. And then I've got the three of uh, swords, the nine of swords and the nine of <sighs> wands. Remember I told you having to be on the defense with the nine of wands here, it's going to be extremely important. There's a strategic energy here and your enemy is going to actually be quite stressed out because they have this two faced vibration. You're ready to protect yourself because as good as they give it, you can give it back. That's what I'm hearing. And, and there's something there. I don't recommend the tit for tat. Um, but if somebody wants to play with you and they're not about to apologize for any of the damage that they've done, they know that they deliberately caused some sort of stress or there's some sort of mental imbalance there, please, they don't let the butt, don't let the door hit you on the way out is what I just heard with this right here. Okay. Cause you know that this person is eventually going to end up lying or doing something and it's not, you're not about to sit around and wait for somebody to, to do you dirty. Right. Or you weren't in the past, whatever this is. Some of you all have someone coming in here though. And, but I, what I see is that you are really more about focusing on you and standing in your power and your vibration. You might even move is what I see here. You might even change house. You might move houses. What is this? Yeah. Some of you all, what this says is if you're getting ready to move, you need to hold on to your money right now so that you can make that transition happen. It might happen very, very quickly. Okay. Don't miss this opportunity. Yeah. Don't miss this opportunity. There's something here about an opportunity that's going to work out in your favor. You're going to be contacted or something. Yeah. It's going to work out in your favor. Look, um, so now that you have the nine, we add that this is an, a vibration of success with the four of wands and the nine of pentacles. You know, this is that key that they told you about with all that other drama that we talked about. And I promise you guys, I've edited this because I actually started saying something that I saw as being toxic, but I looked at it from the perspective of this was the person who was trying to talk to you. Like this was what they were projecting upon you. So I didn't even let you guys hear that part because it was so negative. 
Okay. And this is what kind of just swims around you at all times. But now you get to swim in this new direction. So dive deep, baby, because you're about to be paid. You're about to do a lot of different things. You really are. Um, just make sure that your value in this tour season, you know, headed into what is that? Gemini is successful. You know, I think this is the directions for you heading into Gemini season here. They want you to make it through, but it's going to require you, you know, I don't know, doing a little bit of investigation here as well. Yeah, there's something here. Somebody makes a mistake. I think that it has something to do with you, but I feel like you're more of the teacher or the supporter here. And it could be, you know, juggling a third party for some of you. If someone was cheating, I know that they... I'm, don't wait around for this person is what I'm going to say. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is <laughs> hoes in the same area code. Yeah. Multiple options here. All right. So here's the deal. Some of you guys are single and you're happy and you're loving it. All right. And if you stay in some sort of regret and you're worried about other people and what they're doing, you're going to be upset. You're going to be extremely upset. Some of you guys, everybody is just happy singling and mingling. Um, I will tell you this. I feel like they are telling you to protect yourself when it comes to people who might be on the lookout for you um, or could just be kind of waiting. Some of you guys, you do have a stalker here. All right. You have a stalker kind of pays attention to everything that you do. I think this is Internet based. I know that there could be someone here that, again, they're jealous that you have the relationships that you have with people. Um that might confuse you though, because you're just pretty much friends with everybody. It's not necessarily a big deal. Uh, so just watch out for those people that would attack you. Watch out for those people that would hurt you because they are there. And th when I say watch out, it's because this vibration has been here the whole time. I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to even use this deck. It, it was just the one card that needed to be dealt with, you know, and understood that if you want your value, your blessings, everything to come through in a timely manner, don't fall for the okie doke. That's what I've always called it. You know, when somebody comes up to you and says, here, let me stick this knife in your back and you willingly let someone do that to you, that's a problem. All right. And it creates confusion. It creates problems with your money and the relationships around you. People feel like you're immature and you can't protect yourself. You don't know what it is that you're doing. And the whole thing is, is that you're not naive. You're not naive at all. And you will by trial and error, continue to make great choices. And some of you guys, I just, I like the fight that I see because the fight that I see with you getting ready to move towards the, all of these other options and maintaining and hustling the way I see you getting ready to do, that's what they want you to do. I told you the hustler right here. Okay. Some of you all, you're married to a pimp. All right. Dude has multiple people. King of cups. He loves you though. He does. Some of you all, I don't, I don't know. You might be getting married. Like they are coming back in. They they got rid of something. They did, but I don't know. Cause there's only one person in this boat and this person is older. So this person might like have a parent or something, but they want to talk to you. And maybe the parent wants you to come back too. Yeah, they do. The parents talking to this person about coming back towards you, or there's someone who's giving direction about this is three. I told you three of wands. You are at the precipice. You are at the beginning of blessings. Wow, this is a weird reading because it just kind of really went all over the place. So take it as it resonates. Don't forget, Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly. I'll try to get this out tonight. I will. Um, oh, we got one more card. Hold on. I just see it. Because you have this love relationship here. I don't want you rejecting what spirit is offering you. And I felt like that was something we needed to know. What don't reject? What do you want to show them? They want to give you a glimpse is what I just heard. A glimpse of what? The world, prayers, and the... Oh, so wake up in the morning. Okay. Yes. And manifest. Manifest that you are having opportunity after opportunity. You know, there's also something here where you could have a Capricorn energy and it's, it's the control over something. And when you learn to tell a third party that you're just going to pray for them and not engage and that you'll see them tomorrow or you'll, you know, take a break from them, do something along those lines. I, I just feel, especially with this, this could be really harsh words. You know, maybe they're, they're going to confront you 
in some way, shape or form about friendship, about love, about something. Um, and you're going to say, you know, it's possibly best. I don't know. I just see you going somewhere. I see you doing something and you might have to say to somebody, I don't know. It, to me, it's just your, like I told you, it's your self-worth. It's you're going to have to stand up for yourself. Like somebody might even say, I'll see you in the morning. I don't, I don't know if you're just going to stay gone all night. I would, I don't. Yeah, this might be a Virgo. But somebody who knows exactly what they want. Yeah, and somebody is the jam in somebody's jelly roll, baby. Right here. Emperor, I'm telling you, someone is getting ready to come in. They want to see you. They want to be around you. I'm hearing thunderstorms, something about thunderstorms. And when those skies clear, I don't know. Maybe it's just laying with the person at nighttime while it's raining. That's what I'm saying. And just raining nighttime and um, a, like a very, yeah, it could be like a sexual embrace, but I don't know what this is. I want to know, like I'm, I'm being nosy now. I want to know who this person is. I know where <laughs> Because I know there's betrayal there, but the betrayal's done. But you got this other person that wants to do something. That, but they're saying if they're juggling, don't even play around with this. If you know it's a red flag, you know what time it is with this waffle time. It's waffle time, meaning no. You know, pray on it. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to pray. I'm going to kneel. I'm going to pray. And in the morning, I'm going to listen to what Spirit told me. You know, like, I'm yeah, I'll get my messages in the morning. Have patience. Okay be blessed the neck you have you were blessed with the opportunity to wake up what see what i'm saying be grateful with that is breath it's waffle time see what i'm saying i'm telling you so who is this person someone you trusted in the past someone you wanted everything with someone you feel dedicated to sagittarius okay if you're arguing with somebody right now and telling them that you just need to set some boundaries, I mean, this could even be a mother figure, though, Sagittarius. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Could be a mother figure. Um, but someone's someone needs to, to just separate here for a second. Could be a wife. Sister, maybe maybe an earth sign sister or sign mother or it's someone that's just in their very, very feminine energy here. OK, Sagittarius, this is actually you if you really think about it. It's your family. And and they are really stressing you out. They really are. And you know what? They are saying horrible things to you about other people. I don't know why this needed to come out. This is not for all of you. It doesn't, you know, but there is somebody because of what it is that they're getting ready to do and the way that they're getting ready to come at you. You are not going to deal. I don't see you harming anybody, but I definitely see that it's going to um, bring sort of some sort of shock. It's going to bring some sort of betrayal. The other thing is, is that if you guys are rich, I'm just going to say this now. I know we had talked earlier about was something that I mentioned, right? Making sure that you have the appropriate role models, right? So the way that I'm going to say that is an appropriate mo role model is someone that's realistic. All right. Someone that is on your level. And if you want to be on the level that they're on, let's say they're a billionaire, then work really hard to get there. All right. Just work what do whatever it is that you can about some sort of new learning and prove whoever this is is trying to tear you down wrong. All right. Because I see it. I see your family member trying to tear you down like you are not enough with this five of pentacles, you know, trying to bring you ill fortune, ill fame, all that other stuff. All right. And it could be a Virgo energy here that's doing that to you. You, you guys, here's the other thing. You might have this Virgo energy around you um, with this Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone here is just done and through. And maybe they, they get robbed in some sort of way. Okay, because we did see that Seven of Swords where somebody wasn't telling the truth. But somebody takes something from somebody or someone is like harmed. Yeah. Somebody could also be dealing with hate, generational hate with this Ten of Swords here. Don't let other people tear you down and keep you from your blessings. OK, and it's we all know that it's very stereotypical to keep people of color um, down, you know, very stereotypical. And it's like you'll go into certain communities and neighborhoods and they there's individuals who would like to, you know, fix up their community, fix up their homes, but they can't get loans because they're denied by, you know, mortgage companies. They're denied by um, just structures that are not set up for them. 
So, you know, be very, very wary of that, especially, you know, if you have some sort of financial abundance come into you, if you have inheritance, um, make sure that you are doing your best to not let other people try to take it from you, steal, steal from you, take advantage of you. You always need to be, you know, on point when it comes to the hustle. I do see that Sagittarius. Okay. Somebody here is really twisted about a third party around you. Um, and the, what they are doing is creating a very, very big problem for you. I see it right now. I, I do. And it's, it's not your burden to bear is what I feel. Yep. And so you need to put a stop to it with this four of swords, high priestess energy. Some of you guys, I feel like with it's, it's waffle time right here and prayers. And then you've got star seed. You are so powerful. Whatever it is that somebody tried to bring your way, um, they thought that they were going to come for you. And now they have a whole nother situation they have to deal with because with this Libra energy right here, the truth is, is they just caused themselves a whole lot of problems. And the only thing that they're going to see you do is reunite and be successful. Okay. You're going to, to sit in the energy of love. This is, they're going to be communicating love to them when they're communicating BS and they're going to be so pissed that they're going to try to say you manifested your way into something. Bull ice tea. I was going to cuss, but see, that's, that's how this person is. You know, they just, they push your button, push it to the point where you just, you just need to be quiet. Right. For some of you guys, if you need musical vibration to get rid of this person, I completely respect it. I understand it. Right. They say, use the key of G. I see that right there to, to balance out any emotion where this is harming you or, you know, trying to, to hurt you further. Yeah. See with the four of swords, I hear listening. They want you to listen to a vibration key of G that helps you. And the third party knows you're, you're going to send a vibration to whoever this is, is what I feel. Spirit's not going to let you get to a certain point. Your guides are going to stop you. It's going to feel like a little bit of torture at first, but your spirit guides are going to stop you from doing anything that's harming you. See what I'm saying? You're going to come together with the people that you're supposed to come with. There are people in your life that are past lives, right? They want to come around you. I'm telling you. There's somebody that wants to come back to you. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm... Mm, be careful with who you're dealing with, all right? Seven of Pentacles. It's okay to be patient. And I think I've said that multiple times. It's okay to make sure that you truly love, you know, but you also have to put action behind whatever this love is. Okay. Piscean energy. If you guys are dealing with possibly a Pisces or a Cancer here, um, there's a lot of jealousy with that five. I just see jealousy with that. But then there's also something here where this person... I don't know. You feel something with someone else. I feel like you feel this person coming back and they're full of conflict. That's what it is. If they're coming back around you, but they betrayed you before and they're trying to tell you that it's done. I think intuitively you feel something coming. They said, stay on the defense because they might still be juggling. Right. What about this past life? What do you, what do we need to know? Oh, my Sagis. Yeah, it's, it's still happening. It's five of swords. There's black magic. There's manipulation. There's dark work here. Yes. And they're doing it so that they can get over on you. It's kind of the same way that they were in the past. I don't see that it changed. Right? Yeah. And they'll leave and go juggle when you stand up for yourself. Yeah. It's all a sex thing here for some of you. It had to come out. Whatever. You know, I think, like I said, the story changed a couple of times. So I'm going to go. Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly. Guardian Angel messages, you guys, those are the random messages that just kind of come out here. Um, I hope to see you guys letter, later letter. So yeah, maybe there's a message I need to give you. Higher self here. Um, come hang out with me. Friday Night Love Tarot. Yeah, that's just what I'm hearing. And remember, in order to comment, you have to be subscribed. This is for you guys, Sagittarius. I'll see you soon. Peace and love, Grace.